Um, what's on your nightstand? My nightstand? Oh, that's a good question. Um, my glasses. I've got a bunch of glasses. I actually have really poor eyesight. I do too. You do too. But I have one more glass. Are you are you nearsighted and longsighted? Both. Farsighted. Both. And my Me left too. eye is kind of blind. Oh. I know, and then don't people ask you, right? Why don't you get laser surgery? They yeah, ask like you all I the would time, go right? and get my eyes lasered. I know, Are you I don't want me? to either. Ew. I don't want to either. And and I keep, people ask, well, why should you just get laser? And, and I don't want to, because I hear your night vision kind of just decreases a little bit. And, and I already have really horrible night vision, so I'd, I'd hate for that to get worse when I'm driving. Um, so anyway, yeah, so glasses on my nightstand. More than one pair, just because I'm losing them all mm -hmm. the time. So I need more I, than I have a pair in every room. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. That's smart. Because you never know when you have to read something. I know, I know. Luckily, like, if, if I want, I can read like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm usually oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. Hello, what are you saying? <laughs> Very, oh. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. your nightstand. What else? Well, yeah. Do you want all the rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Is there anything? Let's think. I'm just Usually a book. What are you reading right now? Um, I'm reading a, a few different books. I just finished reading um, a really good book by Katie Martin, uh, Paris in Love. Okay. Kid, kid memoir. It's a memoir about her life <laughs> and her marriages and her jobs and her career as a journalist. And um, yeah, it's cool because you can kind of like, I don't know, it's just really well written. But um, it just depends. I've, I, I read different things. I usually have more than one book going mm -hmm. at the same time. I understand that. I have like seven books. What are you reading? Oh my God. What am I reading? I'm reading a biography of, um, no, I'm reading Rod Stewart's autobiography. Oh, see, I want to get into autobiographies. It's, oh, I love autobiographies. I, I love like biographies. I'm ready to read some of those. I have like 10 Catherine Hepburn biographies. Wow. I love Catherine Hepburn. So you know everything about her by now. Yeah, very interesting. Wow. I the legend, the myth, or the reality? Which do you like everything. better? Everything. Um, All of it? Her myth. Her yeah. reality. Her myth for herself? Yeah. Her reality? Yeah. Or the way she paints that's, her that's own reality? That's what I would like most. That's cool. And I don't like the people who are trying to take away the, the magic. Okay. I don't like that. You don't like I that? I like magic. You like the magical side? I like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's such a big part of life, isn't it? I mean, even as a performer, I mean, you're always playing into magic, aren't you? And archetypes and those... Um, those types of ideas and fantasy. So you have beautiful eyes. Thank you. <laughs> really beautiful eyes. Um, shoes or bags? Whew. I have to admit, in my closet, I have many pairs of high heels. The sad part is I don't wear them that often. I really started I wearing... saw those heels today. I was like, oh my god, uh, how can she even walk? Uh, they were, no, they even on a stage. Uh, wow. Did you catch that? Yeah, we can just put that in slow motion. <laughs> I can't do it all the way around my head like Madonna, but I can kick it up as far as well, the camera. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, so so anyway, yeah, I have a lot of shoes, but bags I like to. But I'm not crazy about bags. Like, they don't have to be like expensive bags. Like, I have all kinds of bags, you know. But um, I do like bags. But then sometimes. I don't know. It just depends. I, I'm kind of a bag lady. I always have bags with me. <laughs> I, I use my and when I'm shopping, I always use the, the the recyclable bags. I never use. I try never to use plastic bags. Oh. I have them in my trunk, and if you make a habit of it, you really just like go in your trunk, go in the store with the with the bags. So I'll, I'll like Very maybe good. even if I buy clothes, I'll put it in like a grocery recyclable bag. And they'll be like, Are you sure you don't want a bag? And I'll be like, no, no, I'll just stuff it in here. And it's like, I hope there's no, like, parsley in there. <laughs> so, if you ever, blouse. so if you ever meet Nelly Furtado <laughs> in the elevator, you might <laughs> experience some weird things. Oh, yeah, you, hey, you wanted to know the real me. Uh, yeah. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most... Is this the myth or the legend, or uh, What is this? That's your real... I think this you, is... That's your real myth. Uh, yeah. I love the word myth. Myth. It's a very crazy, <laughs> cool word for a German. Myth. <laughs> well, I can't even say Merry Christmas in German properly. Frohe Weihnachten? No, my friend kept teaching me. I, well, I work with some Germans, and one of them was trying to teach me. F wait. Frohe Weihnachten? Frohe Weihnachten. Very good. Frohe Weihnachten. Very nice.
and happy new year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to all the queens. Um, who's the most important person in your life? Oh, my daughter, definitely. How is she? She's nine, and um, she's great. She's a ball of energy and sunshine, and oh, I just, I think parenting is like the greatest. It's just, um, she's it's hard to explain. Nine years already? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy to think. Yeah, almost a decade, right? Wow. So, so yeah, and I actually, even when I think of things that are old, I think of, <laughs> of my career as well, which has been now going on 13 years, really, in wow. 2013, because I, I, I signed my record deal when I, I just turned 20, and now I've just turned 34, so it's been 14 years, actually. When was, when was it, was, um, the bird song? The bird, song <laughs> the bird song came out. I'm like a bird. In, what was um, that? It's okay. People call it "Fly Like a Bird." I'm like a bird. The bird song. It's, I want to like fly a bird. away. It's I'm like a bird. <laughs> I knew. So, um, it came out in 2000. No yeah. way! You I gotta be kidding to God, me. It's not 12 years. I swear to God, isn't that crazy? I remember crazy? the video so vividly. I know, and so do I. And it's funny. It's it's. I guess after like, mm, it's kind of like growing up in the spotlight, but isn't it? I mean, not like I don't have a sob story. Like oh, I didn't get to go to prom. I went to high school, graduated, went to a year of college. But, but anyway, so I had a bit of a normal life before I started this career. Um, but yeah, it just feels like a long time. But at the same time, it's flown by because it's been fun. So. Wow. Yeah. Twelve years. Which person do you admire most? Which living person? Well, my mother, to be honest. Mm. Um, all the women in my family are so strong. They're like bulletproof and just so so strong and my mom you know just when I think you know you're gonna see <laughs> you know they're not gonna be strong they just they pull through this this strength that just comes from from the earth I think just from it's like so elemental um and you know her mother you know my father's mother you know they've both passed away my grandmother's but I, I admire them so much they've inspired me in my life so just the strength that's nice yeah what do you dislike most in a man or a woman Ooh, dislike um Let's see. Well, I'm big, big on like accepting people's imperfections, like because I think it kind of shows we're human, and there's a beauty in that, right? Um, but let me think about this. Ah ha ha. Hmm. Um. Can you get back to me? Of on that course. One? <laughs> what, do you, what do you treasure most in life? Um, treasure. Oh, treasure. Probably. I think there's time, time. Like when you have time to just reflect mm -hmm. and time to enjoy the moment, that's mm -hmm. probably what I treasure the most. Whether it's, you know, I, don't know, I think it smelled a flower like on the airplane on the way over here. It was like, just to smell that flower. And just and I thought, oh, it'd be so nice if I could be just walking in the forest right now. Because I grew up around a lot of trees and mm -hmm. around the ocean and Vancouver Island in Canada. and. Um, so like moments of reflection, nature, things like that, I think I treasure quite a lot. Just moments where, you, where you're in the moment more than anything. That's nice. And solitude, I have to say. I really like those reflective moments of solitude. Mm. Do you get those a lot? Uh, no, not very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, uh, wife, mother, singer. No, 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 no. But no, I try, no. I try. I think it's all about finding the little moments in the day where you can do that. I mean, I just had one like half an hour ago when I hadn't come knock to my dressing room door yet, and there was nobody in my dressing room, so I thought, I'm gonna take three big breaths with my tea. And that was about, that was enough for me. I have a great exercise if you wanna relax a little bit. Is it the fire I, breath? I, I, no, I, what I, is it? It's like you breathe in this one nostril. Oh, then you have and you to you don't blow have to. out the other nostril. You know, yes. and it's really you can do that without closing the nostril? Yeah, because it's really How it's can really you do my, that? my my ter my therapist told me it's really about the eyes moving. Really? Yeah, but because people for some weird reason can't move their eyes like slowly, they do it with the with your nose. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're gonna move into the yoga breathing yes. portion of the interview. Are you ready? One, two. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you were to die and come back, what person or animal do you think you'd come back as? Uh, geez. Um, oh, yeah, geez. I'd love to, I know it sounds so silly, but I would like to be an eagle or something like that. Oh, cool. Like an eagle or like 
a dolphin or an orca whale. Um, Something majestic. A crow, I think, yeah. What's your, what's your, what's your star sign? Sagittarius. Oh, okay. December, yeah. So, and I, I like sparkly things, I'm so it might have been a crow before, I think. So, um, are you what? A Sag? A Leo. Oh, a Leo. Okay, August. It's July, end of July. Okay. I'm an early Leo. Early Leo. With Libra and whatever. Mixed all around. Yeah. Um, first time you looked in the mirror and realized, oh my God, all of a sudden I'm Nelly Furtado. I'm not Nelly anymore. Do you remember a moment like that? Oh. Uh, when it hits you? Not really, because I think it's been so long being in the spotlight and just having a whole other... It's more like when I'm... I would say when I'm on stage, that happens. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily looking in the mirror. I, I mean, I don't keep a lot of mirrors at home for some reason. <laughs> that was just figuratively speaking. And I'm glad I, I'm, but... I'm glad I said that word right. Figuratively. <laughs> that was great. Myth and Thank figuratively. You. Wonderful. Way better than my... Fa uh, Frohe Weihnachten. Frohe Weihnachten. Frohe Weihnachten. Okay, so, um, mirrors, stage. Yeah, sometimes when I'm on stage and I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. oh, it just happened actually, this is what happened. Just a couple weeks ago, I was shooting a music video and I thought, it's so funny. I just kind of realized, now I just have to show up. I just gotta like put on the makeup and the outfit and I show up in front of the lights and then something happens and I'm, and I'm a performer. So I'm glad that it, that exists, but at the same time, it's a little freaky because you kind of think, wow, that's when you're kind of like really really becoming quite professional, right? When you, when you can really turn it on and turn it off like that. Um, but as a songwriter, it's very much um, me because I've been writing songs since I was a child and it's been my main form of expression. And although I make music as a career, it's still to me a hobby and I've never fully accepted that it's my job. Okay. I've tried to keep it sacred like a hobby still. And mm -hmm. I think that's kind of the key to longevity or at least loving it for this long is you have to kind of like pretend like it's your hobby. Kind of like if you want to keep loving somebody who pretend they're just like you're on your first date every time okay okay, okay. Uh, your biggest strength um, my biggest strength is probably um, my adaptability I would say cool yeah. your biggest flaw <coughs> flaw <laughs> I'm sorry flaw is probably my lack of focus and my mm, sort of lack of listening skills at some point sometimes I, l I lack mental focus I get distracted quite easily almost like an attention deficit sort of disorder. Helps. <sighs> the biggest misconception you have about this, or, or you had about this business? Oh, when I was little, and I used to dream about it, yeah, I used to think that performers just like got on an airplane and kind of just got off the plane and then like performed for thousands of people and got back on. <laughs> it was very glamorous. <laughs> and then you get in the business and very quickly, you know, you see the hard, hard work that goes into it. So, um... So yeah, I would say that. Just kind of, I probably maybe thought it was more glamorous than it is. Mm -hmm. I, this is when I was like 12, you know, thinking about it, like, ooh. Um, and, and yeah, now I, I respect more the other side, you know, of the, the nitty gritty, because it, it makes you realize why you love it so much. Because of the music. Biggest misconception people have about you. Um, let me think. Um, uh, or is there none? I I'm mean, not sure. Could be. I don't know. Did you learn anything new about me today? <laughs> I, I learned um, that you're very, um, that you're open and uh, and easygoing and uh, very beautiful. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> you're so uh, sweet. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so. Um, I guess I'm I'm a bubbly person, so sometimes maybe I can seem like I'm not really thinking when I am, um, but I'm always thinking. <laughs> That's for sure. And I remember things when it seems like I'm not listening. I'm listening and I'll remember, like, even years later. I'll remember, like, what you're wearing Oh, today. my God. <laughs> you be careful when you meet her in the elevator. <laughs> Drei Minuten noch? Really? Drei that wasn't half an hour. Drei Minuten. Oh, my... F okay. Then, three questions. What's your perfect... What's a perfect day for you? A perfect day. Ooh. A perfect day for me would have to be outdoors, would have to involve some type of outdoor activity, whether it's like skiing, I like to ski sometimes, or like swimming in a lake or swimming in the ocean, building a sand castle, going for a hike, um, geez, going for a bike ride, anything outdoors would be for me with, um, with, with my family by my side. I think uh, that would be a perfect day. And of course, um, some good 
a good picnic. I, I love a picnic. Oh, that's nice. I do. I like packing. I could pack a mean picnic. I'm known as the picnic lady. My oh, friends. really? Yeah, I can like really pick. The picnic I know how to prepare for a day out <laughs> in the wilderness. The last time you laughed. Laughed? Yeah. Really hard? Um, actually, I was goofing off just yesterday. Um, oh, with, uh, with my friend, we were laughing. Uh, we were just telling like funny like jokes, like in Portuguese like funny like jokes that like our parents would tell like so we find it funny because we're like oh our parents like we're basically laughing at our parents jokes basically and making them into new jokes so it's funny and <laughs> final question finish this sentence my life is my life is uh crazy surreal and um blessed i would say cool yeah <laughs>